Hey, you know, flipping and pitching shallow cover has got to be one of the most exciting ways to catch a bass, even right up there with top water. There's something about that hook set and the close quarter combat that's just really exciting. But sometimes you're faced with a situation where you have so much shallow cover, it can be really hard to pinpoint where those bass are. Well, today I ran across a situation that's really a great example for how to find something unique among all the shallow cover. Let's take a look. So as you can see here, there's a lot of flooded salt cedars up in three to four feet of water. But as you pan back, you're gonna see some of these bigger, heavier cedar trees. So there's three things that make these cedar trees unique. Number one, they're bigger in mass, therefore they're gonna have uh, more shade. Secondly, they're more scattered and isolated, whereas these salt cedars are in mass up here in the shallows. And third, where the salt cedars are three to four feet, these heavier cedar trees are gonna be in five to 10 feet of water. You know, when you're flipping and pitching these heavy cedars, that's exactly what the flapping hog was made for. You know, it's got a nice compact design, yet it's still bulky enough to imitate a bluegill or crawfish that I think those big bass really focus in on. And with regard to setup, I've got a four aught straight shank hook and a three eighths ounce slip sinker. And the key on this bait is pitching it right in the heart of the shade. You want that bait to go down right beside the trunk where the deepest, darkest part of that shade is gonna be. That's where your big fish are gonna be located. All right, so remember, you wanna focus in on that cover that's isolated, more shade, and a little deeper. Those will be your keys to success. And the flapping hog, that dog will hunt. 